I got a good friend, his name is Nate. I'm gonna take him the remainder of this batch and use it today. The thing about this stuff is it can go anaerobic within six hours. That's what we don't want. So I'm gonna pour it off of this pump straight into here and get hit the road. Mostly green. Look at that. Aha. Look at that. Aha. Look at that. Look at that. I guess your wife was right. Cause it told <laughs> it told the rain. <laughs> What's going on, What's man? What's up, brother? How are you? Nothing much. So I don't know what we're gonna do since it just rained, but I did bring you that sweet worm tea. Oh. So we can at least get that down. No, all right. All, all right. right. Let's get this unpacked and we'll catch y'all back here in a minute. So I really don't have a method to the that I kind of just do what feels right. Maze. <laughs> you think you're a cat just um so i'll just soak around these beds it's a really good location i'm not necessarily trying to get it on the plants right now because it is the mid part of the day but i wanted to get down to the soil hi mate you can't come in here. <laughs> Your mom's gonna get you. Oh, y'all are doing head lettuce? Oh, fancy. Head lettuce, arugula, mustard green. Have you been dealing with any aphids? No. Oh my God. The aphids have been terrible. So last time I was here, guys, I got on the, on the zero turn for the first time. <laughs> that didn't go too well. We're gonna do that again today, though. We are, because it's dried up. It dried up a little bit, oh, so yeah. yeah, it rained on us earlier, but it's it's dried out, so why not? But um, like I said, guys, I, I did all that research for the T-Jet tips when I did that T-Jet tip little video. But since then, Nate and I, well, even before then, we were already pretty good friends. But then I realized that he does a lot of experiments and looks up a lot of information on these tips on his free time. He has like a collection of tips in there. He's got all the tips, all the tips. <laughs> so now I like skip a step and I just ask Nate because if he doesn't know, he already knows how to find it really quick or he's already experienced it. So I just wanted him to take a moment to like talk about a few different tips uh, for some pointers out there. And he does have a video. He goes a little bit more in depth, but I figured we'd get some free information right here spot while we were here with them. All right guys, so I know how well you can see these, but we both have a handful of uh, spray nozzles. The color of the spray nozzle has a definite meaning, okay? And that is the volume of spray that can come out of them. And most likely you will see red tips, yellow tips, light blue, and dark blue. Now, all of those colors have different variations to them as far as whether they're uh, a metal insert or, or the fan, um, the uh, degrees of the fan, whether it's an 80 or 100 degree tip. Um, air induction, it adds air as the liquid passes through and creates a more coarse droplet. Um, we have fan tips with a right angle. Goal. It's my new favorite kind of tips, by the way. <laughs> um, but the color determines how the volume that will come out of it at a given pressure. Now, I can't sit here and tell you what each of these is going to put because I don't know what your spray equipment, what pressure it runs at. But if you go to tjet.com, you can find the PDF that will tell you exactly what you need. And it will tell you the color of the tip, the spread on the fan, whether it's an 80 or 100 degree, and also what it will put out at what gallon per thousand it will put out at the given pressure of your spray equipment. One other thing I recommend all you guys use, because I hear this nonstop about dripping coming from the tip of your sprayer and mm. it's just constantly running out for some reason. This is a 50 micron 
check valve. This will fit in almost every T-jet end sprayer, T-jet tip that is made. Hmm. Okay, and what this does, it's a 50 micron filter, so it'll pull any particles out. Okay. Additionally, there's a ball check valve in it. Oh. Requires five PSI for so, liquid to get past. How about that? That'd be the perfect fix for Aiden. He's always talking about his tips drip. He literally carries like a rag to put around his tips <laughs> so they don't drip <laughs> on his chapin back, his push, push spur. Yeah. Yeah, so Aiden. Boom. You need one of these. Get you one of those, bro. Will they go in here? No? Yeah, it'll fit in there. Okay. So let's take a look at how it goes in. Basically your regular run of the mill T-jet and connection. We're just gonna unscrew it. And this slides in that way. Oh. And then we just screw it back on. How much is that little piece? It's like four bucks. Come on. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so it, it's a really simple solution to something that a lot of people complain about. Stop man. the drip. Stops the drip. See, look, I didn't even know this, and I just learned something. That's why I just ask him every time. There ask, you go. Yeah, you gotta now go you got, check out this channel. Now you got yourself a check valve. Check valve. But, oh, I got a check valve. You just you gave this to me? I just gave you one. Okay, I gotta pay him some money. He's given me no. like three things since I've been here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, here we are. So this is the time cutter, right? Yep, time cutter. Hope this is insured. <laughs> this for the deck? Deck, yeah. The deck. Should I, should I put on shoes for this? This is not sponsored by Toro, so. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't like that at all. So give me some tips before I do this again, man, because I was pretty terrible at it the first time. All right, let as me, you guys let saw. Let me first preface this by saying I don't let anyone cut my lawn. Well, I don't let anyone cut my front lawn. No pressure. I don't let people walk on it. Uh, but here we are, standing on my front lawn, and Rob is about to break out the time cutter to do some work. All right, guys, so that was single-handedly the easiest and hardest thing that I've ever done in my entire life. I don't know why it was so hard for me to wrap my brain around that, but that, it reminds me of backing up a trailer. If you've ever backed up a trailer, that first time that you back up a trailer, it is super, super hard. But the more repetition you get on that trailer, the easier it becomes for you to back up a trailer. And I think, a zero turn is very much like that. Learning how to articulate those levers properly is really the key. Um, and if I could give you any recommendation, don't necessarily worry about the speed in the beginning. Just try to get your technique under control first, and then you'll be good. Nate, he's zipping and zapping. I didn't do too bad, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I saw the stripes. It was definitely where I wanted it to be. Um, and another factor is I'm not used to this lawn. So, of course, using that piece of equipment more and then mowing this specific lawn more would be extremely helpful. Yeah, but look at them rip. 